What's up everybody and welcome to the channel. So it seems as though we have a little bit more information as to what has taken place in regard to the untimely demises or the shocking demises rather of Bob Saget and Betty White. So we're gonna start with the most recent turn of events which took place with Bob Saget yesterday, January the 9th. Today is January the 10th and TMZ and other media sources have been following the story very closely. Now, we really honestly didn't know much yesterday when the news broke on Bob Saget. All we pretty much knew was, was that he did a show down in Jacksonville, Florida. The show went fine. Bob Saget is on tour. He went to his hotel room to retreat. And the next morning he was found dead in his hotel room by staff. But with the lovely assistance of the feds, AKA TMZ, we now have more information that has come to surface about Bob. Now what TMZ is telling us is that the medical examiner needs to determine the cause of death for Bob. And this process could take, get this, up to 10 to 12 weeks to do. And we're talking somewhere, what? Like around April of us finding out what happened. And by then, everyone is going to be probably pretty much have forgotten about this entire story. So not only is TMZ stating that we might not find out what really happened with Bob until April, what they're also telling us is, is that the last time his hotel key was utilized was at 2.17 a.m., all right? So the chronological timeline of events, Bob did a show in Jacksonville, Florida on Saturday night, his key card for his hotel room was last used on sunday at 2 17 a.m and bob was supposed to check out of the hotel on sunday which was january the 9th now y'all know how the hotels work if you travel a lot you have up until noon usually to check out at these hotels and sometimes you're able to extend your stay you probably could stay till three if you throw them an extra fifty dollars or something like that but what happened here was his family was trying to get in contact with him calling him calling him calling him on sunday bob did not respond i guess they were assuming like hey listen you were supposed to check out of the hotel at 12 where are you what are you doing there was no answer so they contacted the hotel personnel told them that you know bob was staying there and to do a wellness check and that is when the hotel personnel have found that he was unconscious the ems arrived and pretty much stated that he was dead at the scene tmz also states that that bob was in the position lying in bed on his back with his hand lying on his chest okay so again this is what we know this is what we're being told and what's also been circling around on the internet are clips of Bob's podcast, Bob speaking about how he has struggled with, of course, you know, the CV, that's all I'm going to say. And we all know that there are some long-term effects to that. All right. And he did state that if anyone was wondering, yes, he was Enoch. All right. And that is the term that I'm going to use for it. All right. But we're not being told much of nothing other than the position of which he was found the logistics of how he was found okay from personnel because family could not get in contact with him and the last time his key card was used so like i said again pay very very close attention to this story because like i said yesterday there are going to be way more celebs that are going to be dropping off the face of the earth. And this is not to be disrespectful to the family. We just call it a thing and thing and a spade a spade because we know what industry we are dealing with. Okay. And understand that nothing will ever be what it seems. Now it's astonishing to me how we are able to determine the cause of death for Betty White in about two weeks. But Bob's situation is going to take up to 10 to 12 weeks. Now, many people know that Betty White, which is someone else who was very pivotal on TV for many, many, many years, well known on TV, mostly throughout the 90s, through the Golden Girls era. OK, we know now, according to TMZ as well, 
that Betty White's cause of death was a stroke. Now this stroke had occurred about six days prior to her passing away on New Year's Eve. And the cause of death is actually listed on her death certificate as a cerebrovascular accident, which is a loss of blood flow to the part of the brain, resulting in brain tissue damage. Now, according to close sources, they directly told TMZ that Betty was alert and coherent after her stroke, and she died peacefully in her sleep at home. And this took place about three weeks before she was set to celebrate her 100th birthday. And this is why the media had made such a big spectacle of this because she was literally just interviewed not that long ago stating, you know, how she pretty much lasted this long, you know, and for her to just go on the last day of the year, three weeks before her birthday, I don't know y'all. Y'all do what y'all want with that information, okay? Y'all do what y'all want with all the information that's being said here. Think for yourself. Do your own research. That's all I really got to tell you. But um, the entire situation with Bob especially is crazy. And once again, we definitely have to keep our ear to the streets. And we got to see what they're going to continue to state. Because for the next couple of weeks, we're going to see more and more come out about this it's gonna stop and then we'll probably hear something in the headline again when this medical examiner is done with the autopsy all right but that's all i got for you guys on this one major shout out to everybody who tapped in major shout out to you if you made it all the way to the end please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment and tell me what you think is really going on all right i love y'all y'all take care and y'all be well peace